Let's talk about tanning beds for eczema or psoriasis. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Smith. I'm a board certified allergist and eczema expert. I have seen several videos on social media and TikTok recently about using tanning beds for psoriasis and eczema, especially this video posted by Kim Kardashian. This does not surprise me, as surveys done at dermatologist offices showed that more than 50% of people that come in for psoriasis have tried a tanning bed for it before. Now, I will start this video by saying that I in no way endorse or recommend using a regular tanning bed, but they have actually been shown in studies to be helpful in conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, vitiligo, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, and even acne. Now, before you go and run to your local tanning salon, let's discuss the wavelengths of light that these beds emit. Regular tanning beds emit a very intense intense form of UV light, much more than you would get from laying out at the pool or the beach. The majority of light emitted by these tanning beds is in the UVA spectrum, which is 280 to 320 nanometers in length. These are the most damaging spectrum of UV rays to your skin, causing sunburn, photo aging, and risk of skin cancers such as melanoma. Less than 5% of those UV rays are UVB rays, which are between 310 to 350 nanometers. These UVB rays are what actually help inflammation in conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. But unfortunately, in regular tanning beds, the minority of light emitted is this helpful UVB type of light. So even though tanning beds are harmful and they have a risk of cancer, skin aging, and sunburn, I know a lot of patients go to them to treat their eczema and psoriasis. This is because they do find some benefit from using these tanning beds. A study which looked at 20 people that used tanning beds for their psoriasis about three to five times a week for a period of six weeks, 80% of those patients did see an improvement in their psoriasis. The improvement was actually comparable to patients that were using high dose topical steroid creams like bethamethasone. The improvement in psoriasis was not nearly as good as patients placed on a biologic medication for their psoriasis, such as Humira or Enbrel. And the study also did not look at the long-term risks of that sunbed exposure. Studies showed if you have used a tanning bed only 10 times in your entire life, your risk of melanoma is increased by 34%. If you have used these tanning beds for more than 100 times in your life, your risk of melanoma is increased by 272%. So the FDA does regulate the radiation that is allowed to be emitted by these beds. But a recent study in North Carolina showed that only one in 32 commercial tanning salons were in compliance with the FDA federal guidelines. There have not been similar studies with tanning beds in eczema, but there has been a study looking at patients exposed to regular natural sunlight and their eczema improves in some to the same degree as patients using a medication called topical calcineurin inhibitors or tacrolimus. So we know that UV rays do help conditions such as eczema and psoriasis, but how can you use UV rays safely? One of my absolute favorite ways to treat eczema and psoriasis is narrowband UVB phototherapy. This is basically a very specialized tanning bed that you can find in allergist or dermatologist dermatologist offices. They emit a very focused and filtered type of UVB light, almost exclusively 311 nanometers in wavelength. This has shown to have direct anti-inflammatory and anti-itch properties, and they filter out the more damaging UVA rays that cause sunburn, photo aging, and cancer. If you click the link below, I actually made a video of me treating myself with a UVB photo lamp for my own eczema. Because it is pretty labor intensive to use phototherapy for eczema, you need about two to three sessions a week and have to go into your dermatologist or allergist's office. I often prescribe these home phototherapy lamps for my patients. Sometimes insurance pays a part or even the majority of the cost of these lamps. There has also been a recent study looking at dupilumab, which is a biologic injectable medication for eczema. And when this was used in addition to 
through a UVB phototherapy lamp, it caused remission of the eczema at a much faster rate. I must add though that these UVB narrowband lamps are not completely risk-free and cumulatively over a process of years, they can cause some photoaging and a small risk of skin cancer.